Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Dashiell, who wanted the uh, uh, Gundam ground-type weapons rack. So, that's what we got here. I put it in uh, G3 colors, just mainly because I felt like it. I uh, uh, Dashiell didn't have any specific uh, color uh, requests, so uh, at least not that I saw. I hope uh, G3 is okay, but that's, that's just kind of what I was feeling. And... Uh, they're some of my favorite colors, honestly, in, in on mobile suits, so... And... let's see. That is in a Freak to Doug Schneid Custom that uh, I am dealing with in front of me, which is bad news. That, that uh, Heat Lance will, you know, wreck me in a couple of swings. And I think you're going to see that at least once during this round, but... I'm just really happy how this has started so far, because... Uh, a lot of times with uh, the uh, Arctic base map, you will, you know... As a slow support, you will lose the opening round of Ring Around the Rosie, and uh, your team will just leave you behind and get you killed. So there's there's about there's nothing you can really do about it either, because they're just uh, you know if the other if your whole team's still running and the uh, and uh, the enemy team has all caught up with you, nothing's gonna nothing good's gonna happen there. But something good just happened here, which is my team did come back and save me from the Doug Schneid again. So. You know, really grateful for uh, for how much they're uh, backing me up here, because like I said, a team that backs up its support is a great thing to see, and a great, especially when you're the support. That is a Pale Rider Cavalry in Hades mode. This is the level two Gundam Ground Weapons Rack, incidentally, at 350. And yeah, we're I'm alive. I don't have a lot of health, but I am alive, and we've got a solid lead to start the round with. So. Not bad. I am going to go back and make some repairs, but I believe that's not going to work out in my favor. Sometimes repairs work, sometimes they don't, but if you hold it too long and the enemies catch up with you, especially that Doug Schneid, you've kind of got a problem. And I think, if I remember correctly, I'm about to have a problem. But it's, you know, at least if you're going to do that, do, do it when your team's very ahead and not very behind. So, but as you can see, I'm getting a lot of health back very quickly, so... I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably call it now at about half health and see what I can do. Somebody's inching towards me. It is, okay, that's the Doug Schneid, and I'm just going to hit it from a distance. And I think in a minute it's going to figure out where I am, and that's going to be a problem. Tag somebody else that takes more damage than the Doug, though. That's good. Pale Rider Cab is in front of me, so is the Doug Schneid. It, I did not tag it with the, uh, uh, with the, uh, a uh, flash bomb, and I have no idea how my melee actually got through to knock over the uh, Doug Schneider free. My guess, my guess, is that I actually launched the attack right after its uh, after its uh, melee resolved, and I don't know why I knelt there. I think I just slipped. But yeah, I think I think I launched my downswing just as its melee was resolving, and that's why I survived, or why I got the hit, because. You know, under no circumstances should I be able to, you know, out melee an Efreet in a Gundam Ground weapons rack. There's a kill. But yeah, uh, thankfully, you know, and I sent thanks because, yeah, that was uh, that was good. That was, uh, you know, had a teammate come back me up, and ultimately it was the uh, uh, Jim Sniper um, uh, missile launcher type, or, you know, Shimoda Squad Custom, if you uh, played GBO1, that uh, is what took me down. And the whole team is holding up. Number one might drop, but uh, I'm going to have a lot of cover when I come back in, even so. So that is the good news. We're still holding a decent lead, so no, uh, no harm done there. And yeah. So, and I have a, a pretty good uh, shot to pick if I can land it. I landed it. Somebody else followed up on it. And that's more points for us. That is the Pale Rider Cav, which just took a lot of damage. And that is before Hades, where its defense will drop. And another good shot, and I might be able to tag one more that stays in the neighborhood. Nope, it left and I hit the stairs beside, so, or the ramp, rather. So, yep, I'll move up, nope, I'm going to go for cover, because there is support fire coming out, and I am a slow-moving target, so. Move away from the allies, I was not the one hit, but oh boy was everybody else, so. Now I just kind of pull back, because if the, uh, if Freak decides to come after me now with, with only one person to cover me, and the entire enemy team pretty well coordinated, bad scene. That is a, I believe in an, a Gundam Marine type charging its beam rifle at me. And, let's see, ta uh, tagged it, and 
Yep, I think they might have a Gundam Marine type and an Aqua Gym. And I think it's uh, the Aqua Gym that's actually uh, on me. But unfortunately, says the Doug Schneid Freet, uh, our Freet, uh, our Freet knocked tried to uh, back me up and didn't quite land the shot. Just like I didn't quite land my shot there, but I did there. So, and had just enough bullets to finish off that uh, Aqua Gym or Gundam Marine type, whichever it may be. And my team backed me up uh, against the Doug Schneid Freet once again. So that is, you know, again, it's always so nice to find just random teams you work well with. It's, it's, it's such a good feeling. And yeah, we are working very well together, and they are trying to keep me alive as the support, and it is just, you know, it's going well. As you can see, because we've got a, uh, you know, we've got about a 2-to-1 lead, just about. And I don't, I don't usually like to run routes, as I've said, but again, just teams working so well together. Ha kinda had to, uh, had to celebrate that a little bit, had to, had to show that off, because yeah, it's always good when you can find a team that's, uh, you know, working together, under you know, understand what uh, each other are doing, and you know, ah, understand that uh, nobody is you know, ah, nobody is trying to uh, uh, give anybody else a hard time. So, because let me tell you, you play this long enough, you you just start to suspect sometimes with with teams that are not working uh, out for you, and it just it makes everything harder. So. But yeah, I know the team's doing the best it can, I'm doing my uh, the best I can for it, but I am getting cornered by that Gundam Marine, and probably, yep, and probably the Freak too, so that's not a good combination. Yeah, I am dead. Oh, it missed its downswing, and luckily the uh, gun. okay, well, it shot me a couple of times, I was about to say, luckily the Gundam Marine type's running away, but uh, Schneid just threw some uh, Vulcan or hand machine gun shots at me. But... We are still doing very well. They managed to bring it back a little bit, but we've got a minute left and a 2,500 point lead. That's a good combination at uh, 350. And I'm going to come back in and see what I can do. And let's see. Um, yep, there's the Afrit. I will try to uh, take uh, take the most important shot, basically, which... You know, I, I often end up trying to focus uh, support uh, raids as the support just because I want to kill them as quickly as possible. But again, teams working working on the Afrit fairly well here, so the best thing I can do is do the most damage possible. I just hit the Afrit, which I'm pretty sure lost its legs, so that was fortunate. I may drop dead one more time before this round ends. I wish I had gotten my uh, tackle there because I would have survived this, but yeah. Uh, Doug Schneid had me dead to rights, but we are maintaining that 2,500 point lead, and then just got a little uh, bonus on top of it. So, yeah, even though I, my last life was not so hot, uh, we uh, we're gonna pull it off, and I got no complaints. Like I said, I think I think this team and I work pretty well together. So, if if you see yourself here, you know, thank you much. This was this was a fun round. So, yeah. That was good, and I hope you I hope you enjoyed it, Dashel. Cause yeah, I swept the board. I was uh, did most damage, most assists, most kills, and most targeted. So yeah, but we all beat our rivals, as you can see, five and three. Yeah, solid team. So that is gonna do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation Two. We will be back soon with more. So till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later. But yeah, it's been interesting sometimes because after rounds where I really felt people weren't, you know, where I wasn't working well together with other people or they weren't working well together with me, and after a while it just starts to feel like it's on, uh, on purpose, I've, you know, wound up talking to some of those people and just getting very different stories about what they 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 felt was going on. And, you know, that's a good experience, I think, because sometimes just, sometimes it feels personal when it's not, and... To be honest, that's another thing that has really uh, helped, uh, you know, with the antidepressant that I've talked about before, is that just the, the sometimes I still get cranky with my tells, sometimes I, I'm still not, you know, 100% where I want to be in terms of mindset when I play, but it has gotten better, and I'm a lot less likely to stay mad after a, ba a bad round and take it personally, and that is just... Such a tremendous gift, honestly. That is just it's it's very hard to do, and it's I'm I'm glad ah, I'm glad my brain got the uh, assistance it needed to do that.